This is the 305 um, cubic inch uh, engine that came with the car. It's a V8, has a four barrel in it. Uh, first thing I want to take care of before I do anything else is um, probably take off those wires right there. If you can see, there should be four wires. What happens is this is coming from the uh, ECU, the ECM, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's giving a spark advance to the distributor. It's controlling it by other sensors that are in here as far as heat and I mean temperature. So you can bypass all that really um, if you don't want to use the brain box anymore, which I don't want to. I don't trust that either. It's old technology. So what we'll do is we'll splice those wires and get it fixed and then uh, we'll try running the truck again and make sure we got it right. But uh, I'll show a picture, um, but I'll cut and don't cut and put together. So that'll be the first thing we'll do. Then after that, we'll walk through uh, the other stuff. Side note, um, the connector for the distributor or the coming off of, um, I guess the electronic spark controller, the wiring for that, all the people call it, uh, also it's called electronic uh, spark timing or EST, I, the connector was kind of shaky, it wasn't I don't think it was giving good contact, so what I end up doing is buying one of these trailer um, wiring connectors and labeling it with an engraver uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see on both ends. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, this is like nine bucks to um, replace that connector that's there because that connector doesn't seem like it's it's making great contact. Not to me. It seems kind of loose so this is I think the cheapest route um, what I'll do is I'll probably put electrical tape around here just to ensure that whatever's exposed is not uh, not exposed anymore so um, that's a cheap way of doing this you want to have a connector just in case you have to take off the distributor you want to be able to disconnect it and pull the distributor out if you need to so that's just this is my um, simple and cheap uh, solve for it I finally, I extended, used some pigtails, uh, follow the uh, the wiring, make sure you match up uh, with this. This is a trailer lighting wiring that I use, of course, I said earlier. Just make sure everything lines up, meaning that if you're going to use green wire on the trailer wiring for brown, make sure you do the same thing on the distributor side. Don't get the wires mixed up. Um, if you can see here the pigtails um, it's a longer wire it's easy to get to straight to the distributor uh, the two wires that are here uh, whoops on the other side let's take a look the two wires that are here if you can see that I'm not using they're like curly cute uh, these are the wires on the other end of the distributor you can see here I solder these together and taped solder and tape these together here um, which is I can tell you what color they are they are the black and the green they get uh, cut and soldered together and that will bypass your electronic uh, spark control or your electronic spark timing um, that way it doesn't uh, not give enough spark or adjust it just 
not a great system to have. Sometimes it's intermittent. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It makes your car run funny. But let's let's test this out. So now with this bypass we have here, you have a, a high uh, what do you call it? a high electronic ignition HEI, and that's basically it. You don't have to take out the distributor. Just jump these wires and it should be fine. I'll post some pictures um, what I did. But it's pretty pretty simple. In my case, it's a little difficult because I had to extend the wiring because the the, um, the connector was bad. I can show you the connector. I can find it here. It is the connector here. If you can see it or not, the connector. Um, if you look on here, it does have the uh, A B C D there. And then if you look on here, that's the same thing. Whoops! Oh, I dropped that in there. Um, that's the same thing here. A, B, C, D. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to have to find that connector. But, um, yep, the, it was just seemed odd. It just, everything looked like it just was not, like some corrosion was going on. And let's see if we can fish this out. Uh, I don't know where it went to. Let's see. Uh, I got a water leak. I know that. All right. Okay, found it. So if you look at it, I mean, this this rubber here is is dried up. Doesn't really seal very well. You see, dirt has been getting in. Um, so yeah, so I replaced that with that. You can see that over there. Just uh, so that's basically it. I figured I'd let you guys know. So now. We have an HEI system. We can move on. Oh, let's see if the vehicle starts at least. All right, let's see. All right. Yep. Starts right up. So we're good to go. Uh, one last thing I'm going to point out. I might have forgotten to mention is that there on the battery side of the distributor there is a pink and orange wire I'm not sure if you can see it or not here if I get close enough um, that pink and orange wire is joined together there they do have continuity between the two but the one orange wire is for goes to the ECU or the ECM the other one goes to the ignition So my recommendation is uh, you can disconnect that. The um, pink wire, the pink wire goes to the ignition. Then you want to disconnect that and just hook that directly to the distributor. There's no need to hook um, that orange wire back up. Uh, we're bypassing the computer anyway. Um, that usually tells it to give it a signal um, to retard the, uh, uh, the coil, but that's not case anymore so um, this is this is it and this will be the final thing um, as you can see um, everything's apart here and I took the distributor out so um, I just want to show that one part and that is it